Alright. I'm assuming this might be one of the last Mr. Freeze missions. You think so? Yeah. Oh. Belfry, Elliot Center is covered in ice. The storm's localized at the top. Freeze must be doing something up there. Okay, so we have to take out some dudes over here. I'm excited to see Mr. Freeze. Do you think he's doing this because he wants to take off his suit for once in his life? And he's like, I want to be able to walk around the streets like a normal person. I still don't know if he could. I still don't know if he could because if he could do that, wouldn't he just go take Nora to the Antarctic and just do his research there? Well, I suppose you have a point. I think but I maybe do. it's not cold enough there because the ice caps are melting. Hmm. Global warming. What if he? Wait. What if he teamed up with Poison Ivy to stop global warming? Uh, well, in Batman and Robin, the movie they team up. Wait, actually? Yeah, you've never seen that? No, I've never seen that movie. I heard it was terrible. It is. It's a very bad, uh, very bad movie. Isn't it the sequel to Batman Forever? It's supposed to be. Not a very good sequel to Batman Forever. I've seen people defend it in recent years, and I don't really understand why. I mean, like, Batman himself isn't the problem. It's that everything is meant to be a joke. Nothing's taken seriously. But it doesn't have the charm of, like, Adam West. Oh, you really? Know? With, like, Adam West, it's not supposed to be super serious, but it has a lot of charm, you know? Uh, yeah. And that's the fun part of it, is it's supposed to be, like, fun, you know? Yeah, but... Batman and Robin just feels like it's making fun of its source material and not being fun at all. Oh, so it's lame. Yeah, it just seems, like, boring and ridiculous. They There's some stuff that's funny. They shouldn't have gotten rid of Tim Burton as a director. Oh, they should not have. That was, like, a huge mistake on their part. Yeah, they should not have done that. You know, we can, we could have silent take down a couple. Oh, should we have? Yeah, instead of just attacking them like that. Sorry, was, did I mess it up? Yeah, but that's okay. I didn't mean to, I just was having fun. No, that's okay, it's just we don't have to attack everyone head on. We can sometimes, you know... That's true, I just thought, you know, I thought it sounded like a fun idea to go head on today, because earlier we did some silenting, and I don't know, it just seemed like a... Try and defeat people with heavy attacks. Okay. You just hold the button. Ah! I'm just doing it for XP. This guy's got like a frozen glove thing that he uses. Nice, good job. Yay, I get it. That was all jelly. It was. The GCPD is pulling back the helicopter due to the severity of the storm. Copy that, Belfry. Probably for the best. The GCPD's pulling out? <laughs> no, it's not something I'd ever do. <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> That's something you never do, actually. It won't happen. That's something only pussies do. How would I uh, create my army of child soldiers if I pull out? That's right. You're right, Charles. Uh, who's Charles? Charles Xavier? Charles Manson. Oh, he didn't have child soldiers. No, but he certainly had a lot of babies with a lot of women, and if they weren't good enough, he put them under the baby tree and let them die. Well, that's what they say. That's what that was. It was the truth. That's what they say. When I visited him in prison, it didn't really seem true to me. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I haven't yet. I'm convinced it's because he was trying to make an entire like, like he was trying to further the cult's population so he could eventually take over something. Because he was that over. crazy. But that's a little silly. Well, it's true. I know, it's just that's a silly plan if so. Also, I really like this. This is actually a really unique mission other than just go into warehouse-like or lab-like setting for the 50th time. Yeah, I really like the icy setting. I think it's really cool, actually. It feels like this was just made for E3, though. Which it was, so? by the way, because... Oh, did they show this part in E3? Yeah, they showed this oh. part at, like, DC Fandom. Uh oh I thought DC Fandom was cancelled. Every time I say this to you, you say that... There were a bunch, there were multiple DC fandoms, Jill. Oh. Don't you remember? And this game was in development for years? M multiple years? Sorry. Yeah. Did I you, forgot. Did you think this game was made in two weeks? Yes. They just like strapped it together? still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. When they push these developers to work all night long and like tear their own hair out. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it was not made that quickly, Joe. Well, that's good. Nice. Yay, I'm beating people up. 
Woohoo! This part was also shown in Gotham, or whatever, DC fandom. Do you think this is the only unique part of the game because of that? I don't think... It's not the only unique part. That part with in the hospital with Harley was kind of unique. Yeah, but that one wasn't a very fun mushroom. Uh, it was actually, though. It was fun leading up to her. Once we got to her, it wasn't fun. I agree. But That's every, true. Oh, hey, here's a box with stuff in it, Jill. Her boss fight was really dumb. Yeah, come get the stuff. It's over there. Oh, okay. But yeah, her boss fight was terrible. I hated that. Well, there it is. I couldn't see it because it's all blue. That's okay. That boss fight was not fun at all. No, it wasn't. Make sure you it, scan once in a while while going through here so we don't miss anything. It was also an unsatisfying end. Yeah, she was evil just because she was evil and... We never really found out what the drug did or why she did that. Well, the drug, it was a chip that inhibit or that like removed their inhibitions. Yeah, but why? Like, why did she do it? It seemed like she just did it just to cause chaos. Oh, okay. Which seems like they were trying to do a Joker type plot, but it wasn't a good one. You it know? kind of seemed like she was trying to do a gotcha moment on Joker, but then nothing ever came of it. Yeah, also I have to open this door. Alright, and then we have to grapple up this. They showed this, too. You want to take the stairs? Be my guest. How much you want to bet freezes on the other end of these cables? Well, at least this mission is kind of fun. Yeah, it's also quick. I like how frozen it is around here. How are things out there, Belfry? Countless dead, and the temperature's still falling. Can't let Freeze get away with this. I would like to explore the frozen city. I don't think we could though. Okay, one second. Or maybe we could have and we just didn't, I don't know. Is there a way to bring up the back computer? Not available inside mission locations. The map isn't. What about the database? Don't go forward, okay? That's why I was telling you to wait. Um so, somebody was saying that there are different tapes you can listen to. Oh, really? Bruce's audio log. Uh, this is about Clayface. Spiral. Okay, okay, wait. I thought there was going to be a log entry about Mr. Freeze. Is there not? No. There are some log entries from Batman we can listen to eventually. Oh, good. But we don't have to do that right now. Also, I can buy some new abilities. Okay. Which I didn't know about. We should listen to the ones from Batman soon. That'd be fun. I took some pictures. Ah, good, good. That's what I was doing, but Bobby got mad at me. I did not get mad at you. I just heard loud noises and I said, what the heck are you doing? Oh, my word, Jill. I was just so starstruck. Expect you were starstruck. <laughs> Expect everything. What does that mean? Nothing, Nothing is permitted. Is permitted. Oh, I was about to say that. We can't let it draw more power. The field disruptor's in place. It's charging. <laughs> From my storm engine. Your science project? When my disruptor goes off, you're not going to want to be anywhere near it. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. Ah! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. I can. This is for Gotham. That was really bad audio. Yeah, well, I said it was, like, really mixed badly. Again, this is for Gotham. Did you hear me say that, or did yours say something else? I, I had a hard time hearing it because the music was like... Wah, 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 wah. That makes sense. You know, I feel bad we never figured out what that little 10 is down there. Um, should I look it up? I think we probably should. Because I've never found a button that makes it work. Me either. Oh. Gotcha. Thank you. Alright. 
You just gotta hit him a few times and then get out of there. I find myself a lot of times just spamming ranged. I find myself a lot of times spamming X. Oh, maybe that's why you die. You get right up there and then you get hit. That's how I play games. I'm you like I'm the person who mashing? uses the shotgun and the the close combat. Well, Jill, you're the, also the person who's died twice, and I haven't. Okay, well, you're not being very nice to Jimmy. All right, how do I... Uh, it's just range doesn't do? do much. Yours will do more than mine. Oh, I just hit him with my weird little alien robots. Your weird little alien robots, huh? Yeah. He's burning because of it. Oh, I'm using my droids. Batman promised my cure. He was not wise to break that promise. Batman wanted to help you, but he's gone now. I found another way. One that demands chaos before the cure. The pulse from the disruptor will overload everything, including your suit. You dare go me! I'm trying to warn you! Oh. Need a hand over here. I pressed A a bunch of times to get out of the freeze. How do you get out of the freeze? I just ran. I got stuck in the freeze. Well, just do your best. Okay, so... Is he back on the ground yet? Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, oh. he just happened to land right in front of me. That was nice of him. This... Boss fight's kind of hard. Did they show this at E3 as well? They showed a little bit of it. I think it was like just the very beginning or something. Uh, did it look cool? Yeah, it did. Yeah, and it is. It probably doesn't look cool with us playing. Why? What's wrong with us playing? Because I'm terrible at it. To be fair, the people who played at E3 or er, not E3, uh, whatever, weren't that best either. Oh really? Yeah, they were not. Okay. I wish I had some more momentum. This boss fight's actually hard. Is this supposed to be level six to nine as well? I I almost feel like they scaled him, but I don't know. You know, like to our level. Maybe because it's like actually kind of difficult, just like the Harley Quinn one was. Well, because if this was six to nine, I feel like you wouldn't be able to do it at like this was like twelve to thirteen. Mm -hmm. go on, go on, go on, go on. What okay. level are we again? Uh, like seventeen. Oh. Okay. I can't move. That, yeah, because you got stuck in the frozen thing, you have to spam A. I did spam A. And then if you don't get out of it in time, you die automatically. But I did spam A, and then I was confused. Well, like, you have to do it, like, really quickly. Oh, well, okay. Nice, great, uh, great way to treat people with chronic pain who can't button mash to Grizzly. Well, that's how Gotham Knights play. hates people who are crippled? Gotham Knights doesn't like the disabled community? I can say that I have a disability before some... Random person finds this in five years and gets triggered or whatever. Gotham Knights is ableist? Well, maybe this game isn't for you then. <laughs> Nothing is in this world. Maybe video games just aren't for you. That's true. Maybe nothing should be made to help disabled people. We should all get rid of all ramps. Going what if we into disable businesses? everyone? That's it. Did you like how I said we should get rid of all ramps going yeah, into businesses? Yeah, my favorite thing about when you tell jokes, though, is if I don't answer right away and you repeat it and make it not funny. Well, because you don't answer! I don't need to. It was well, funny on its own. It's either funny on its own or it's not. You don't need to get my reaction. Sometimes you don't even hear my joke because you're too busy talking to your boyfriend, Nate. I heard the joke and we're just by ourselves. Sometimes you annoy me so much when we're playing together that I, I borderline am going to have an anxiety attack. Why? Guys, you're not being nice to me. What's wrong with What's wrong with Chili? Just be nice to me. I'm trying to play a game with you. Oh, I could have done anything tonight. I thought it was very nice. No. Nope. I thought it was the nicest. Nope. You know, not many people have wives that play video games with them. Yeah, well, I, not many people have wives. So there. That's true. This is a dumb part of the fight. Oh, just run and avoid this crap. Whoa, oh, you got hit. I guess you're bad at the game. Is that the gay agenda, you think, to make everybody not have a wife anymore? What is happening? Am I in hell? Yes. I feel like I'm literally in hell right now. That's what happens when you die. You just see hell? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's dark. What's his health going to be? Oh, great. Wow. How good. Uh, yeah, all my momentum went away. That's not fair. And he's got a ton of health now. 
And that's not fair at all. He had less than half health. Also, every time I like press B to um, dodge his attack, he's gonna <coughs> lose me anyway mid dodge. You have to dodge the right or left, not just straight. But I am. Well, I I don't know then. I wish I had a better ranged thing, but I couldn't get the parts to build a better ranged weapon. Sorry. That's okay. I modded mine. Uh, mine couldn't take mods. Oh, yeah, my ranged weapon can't either. I modded my melee weapon. Oh, well, I need a better ranged weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what else you need? What? A better butt! Jill, just yelling random things does not make you funny. <laughs> what do you mean? I just wanted you to know that. For How come it's laser and doesn't let me dodge? That's not fair. I'm not allowed to dodge that thing. I literally pressed dodge. I dodged it. Good for you. Well, how do I dodge it if you can't dodge it? That's I don't know. Okay. I don't like this boss fight. You don't like any boss fight. You don't like the game anymore. I like the game. I just think this boss fight's not very fun. It feels unfair. Just like all the rest of them. I feel like the powers that the superheroes have aren't very good compared to all of the uh, people we're going up against. And I never back up, back like up. I never felt like that in Arkham. Did you see the thing on the ground? Yes, I saw the thing on the ground. I didn't get to it, okay? Wait, because you, you were talking. It's because you kept talking. But do you get what I'm saying? Do, do you agree with me or no? Uh, sort of. I mean, there's boss fights in Arkham that feel unfair, though, if you go back and actually play it again. That's true. That's true. I'm just saying not all of them felt like that to me. I always thought the Catwoman fight with uh, Harvey Dent after the game ended felt a little unfair. Oh yeah, that was really unfair. That was so bad. That was like the, one of the hardest things you did in that game. I always thought that was really badly balanced. You remember how I had to do like the stealth part of it for you at one point because it was so fucking hard that you got so mad you like threw the controller? <laughs> I don't think I threw the controller. I know, I was just making a joke. Well okay, I was gonna say I don't think I have that bad of anger issues, do I? No. Do you need help? No, I'm good. How'd you self-revive? I have a second wind. Oh, is that an ability? Yes. Well, let me dodge. I literally am dodging all around I you. told you! I told you! But I usually am able to dodge that. Hold it. Not easy, is it? Uh, no. But I never said it was easy. Oh, here's the part where he goes up here. Oh, no. He's not the only thing triggered. <laughs> a disaster. A lost cause. Ah! Whoa, ah! whoa, ah! whoa, whoa. I don't like this. Ah! I, I just got one shot. I didn't have my health left. Ah! Any way you can get me? Coming. Thank you. Okay. It really didn't let you pick me up? I know, I was like one second away from picking you up and it, he bombed me. This is fucking... This is not fun. I told you it wasn't fun! Well, like, it looked fun on the stupid demo. Yeah, well, those people made the game, so they probably made this guy well, like Those people easier. should make a different game, because I don't understand. And by the way... Parts of this game I genuinely dislike. I I'm love Will, but like, how does he think this is as good as Arkham or it's, whatever? It's not. I don't understand it. Like, he usually is so critical of everything. I really like, like this game, but it is nowhere near on the level of good as Arkham. Like, he's a thousand times more critical than I am. He doesn't how like Fallout 76, which I would argue is a better game than this. He doesn't like half the things we like. But he thinks this is a great game, and I'm just saying, like, there's parts of this game I like. Me too! There's but, parts of this game that I think are fantastic, but there's other parts of this game that are absolute dog shit. Yeah, and also the combat, because it revolves around numbers a lot of the time, randomly, even though it's still, like, this weirdly interactive... Okay, let me dodge! Let me dodge! I feel the same way about a lot of different games, where, like, parts of them I think are fantastic and parts of them I think are dog shit. But I don't often feel so torn about a game as I do about this game in specifics. Does that make sense? Yes. Where it's like something I really, really, really want to love and enjoy, but it's hard to. Yeah. Nope, I totally get it. Whereas a lot of times I can look past some of the shittier things in games. Like I can look past Pokemon Violet and Scarlet having bad optimization. 
because I really I like can't. Pokemon. I can't look past it. I still think it's terrible, but the rest of the game is really fun, so I try my best to look past it. You know, and I look past certain things in The Sims that I think are absolutely really dumb. You know, and I still love the game, but with this game, some things are really hard to look past. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It's just some things are super annoying. Yeah. Okay. And All unfair, right. based on your skill level. And also, the momentum abilities, like, I like that you have to build momentum. I think that's cool, but you build it so slowly that it's like you can't use them during boss fights, pretty much. Yeah, not enough. And I feel like those are some of the coolest abilities in the game. So you're basically just spamming X the entire time to kill a boss, and that makes it not as fun, in my opinion. I liked how some boss fights in Arkham you actually had to think to do. Like, you had to take certain things out and stuff like that to be able to get to the final part of the battle. Like, we, By the way, this is the part we always get to. Uh -oh. <sighs> How's your health? Okay. That's good. Behold! A you know bad I mean. man without Gotham! A Gotham without bad man! Ah. A gumshoe without a dim job! Ah. A cheerleader without the whole squad to bang! But did you get what I was saying with that? Or like, you remember with, um... That this is an example of just a boss fight I remember well, not necessarily a good boss fight. But I like how when boss fights have you do things like with the death stroke fight where you have to take like certain things out and then you get to the final boss. Yeah. Even though that boss fight wasn't nearly as good as most other boss fights in Arkham, I like when you, you have the to... the Deathstroke fight with the tank? Yeah. I hated that fight. No, I no, I know. Trash. I know everybody hated that fight, but what I'm saying is I like when fights make you have to... I'm out of health packs. You went down really? Really, Jill? Sorry. Well, I can't do the whole thing by myself. I literally got back up. You're the one who's down. I, thought, I didn't think you got back up. I have second wind. Sorry, I was trying to get to you to heal you. I didn't know you still had that. This guy sucks. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, here's a better example. Like that Poison Ivy boss fight in Asylum. Okay, no, here's a better example, Jill. You're picking bad boss fights. Am I? Here's a better example. The Mr. Freeze boss fight in both Gotham, or in both Arkham Origins and especially Arkham City. Yeah, that one was good. I'm just saying I like it when they make you actually think and do stuff other than just hit the boss over and over. Does that make right, sense? Right, which the two I just named made you think and do stuff other than just hit the boss over and over. No, no, I agree. That's what I'm trying to say is, like, I like when they have you sit, do things like take out some of the flowers that are helping uh, Poison Ivy be stronger. Right, I understand that. And, and, I, and then you get to take out Poison Ivy. Like, I think that's cool and fun, and it makes you feel like you're doing something interesting. And I know they would have been ripping off Arkham, but I really kind of wish they had just ripped off Arkham and made this sort of like a fight where you had to take him out in different ways. Yeah, because it actually shows how smart he is. Yeah. Because no. he was really smart in Arkham, and his story is actually kind of tear jerky. Tear jerky, huh? Tear jerky, yeah. This, this one's just like... I don't even know what story is going on here. He just went around to a few labs. We don't know what his motivation is, and now we have to beat him up. Well, I think his motivation is that he was promised a cure by Batman, and Batman's dead now. So now he's like, oh, I'll do it myself then. Okay, well, like, calm down. Couldn't he have just asked us? No. Okay. Well, he knows Batman had, like, Robins and stuff, doesn't he? You would think so. You would think he would know that. Since Robin literally said he met Mr. Freeze. Yeah. So you'd think he'd go to the next best thing. I tried to warn you. System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. Hard reset required. Seems straightforward enough. Hang on. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. Freeze? You still in there? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> Tim looked weirdly unempathetic in that cutscene, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. That would have made more sense if I was playing as Jason. Yeah. 
after he said I should have let him die. How am I supposed to take that? Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. Now we're that humanity. Didn't make any sense. No, it didn't at all. How would we be that humanity? That was really badly written. Also, I did defeat enemies. I know, I know. I know, it's fine. I can't... I did defeat enemies, though. Why is it saying I didn't? I don't know. I watched you do it. It's on footage. It doesn't matter. I'm really annoyed. It doesn't even matter. But some people who weren't paying attention are just gonna think I'm an idiot. 